Okay, and for our today uh, lecture, we will resume from the taxotropy. Well, by taxotropy, we have said, and um, it's the decrease of viscosity when a system or a soil particle is passed under stress or it is disturbed. It is exhibited by milk, uh, milk of magnesia or magnesia magma. It's a good example whereby it was observed that the shear rate of, of greater than 30 per second. The system shows a negative dexotropy. So the, the for negative dexotropy, the rate of gaining viscosity is very high than the rate of losing the visc viscosity because and when the stress is applied, the particles will come and form they are mostly this type of particles are those particles which were small follicles in a suspension. So the small follicles in the suspension will collide more in, in a disturbed uh, condition whereby they will combine and form and the intermolecular bonding will increase. And after the intermolecular bond increases, the large follicles will form. So due to that reason, the viscosity will, will increase and it will become less viscous. So for a shear rate and below that is uh, 30 per second, the magma shows a normal dexotropy. But above the 30, it will show negative dexotropy, meaning rate of losing the viscosity. Why this, uh, what's the reason behind under this negative, uh, behind this uh, negative uh, dexotropy? So as we have said before, negative dexotropy, the reason is and the small molecules between 10, 1% to 10%. That's the small solids in the suspension at a high rate, the collision frequency of the dispersed particle will, will increase. And the resulting is increase in intermolecular bonding. Therefore, large, large follicles will form. This large follicles will increase the viscosity. Therefore, gel will form. So from sol to gel, and it, it, it moves from salt to gel. That means decrease in, increase in viscosity under stress. So this change an original state consisting of large number of individual particles and the small particle, uh, small follicles to an uh, eventual uh, equilibrium state consisting of a small number of relatively large follicles at rest. The large follicles break up and gradually return to the original state of the small follicles and individual, individual particles. So we said now, now let's release the, uh, the, the stress. After the release of the stress and the solution is allowed to stand, you'll come to know that the, it, it, it went back to, to soil particles or the viscosity again decreases. Why? Because the small particles will, the large follicles will, will, uh, will separate each other. First, after, before, when you check the solution, the small follicles combine and form large follicles. Now you rest it, you leave it to stand. And after leaving this to, to stand and remove this, the stress, the, the particle will form and now will separate each other. Slowly, they will separate each other and they will form a small and back again a small follicles. Now that small follicles will make it to be gel again. They will make it to be soil particles. It has, remember it has formed from soil to gel. Now, after resting it, it, it went back to soil again. That is the suspended particles or colloidal particles. That's all about an, a negative dexotropy or anti dexotropy Now we will start to reopacy.
the vaccine and uh, is there just is small uh, it's almost all about an uh, anti toxotherapy but there is a small difference that small difference is for your vaccine it only needs a slight shake slight a slight or gentle shaking the the gel will form the gel will form more readily and with a very slight shaking so that's the uh, real vaccine so that is the small difference between rheobacter and dexotherapy. Now, for anti dexotherapy, we are and they are, they are also there is something called also dilatancy. So, what is dilatancy? Dilatancy is uh, for anti dexotherapy, small follicles were combined into form large follicles, and the viscosity was decreasing like that way. For dilatancy, large follicles and uh, uh, let let me say this one for anti therapy the particles was one to ten particles the percentage of those particles which are forming uh, large follicles for the latency they are greater than 50 50 percentage weight by weight so that's the difference between anti therapy and the latency we say the latency the particles which are forming the follicles or combining to form a gel and, and the decrease of, of viscosity is occurring that way are greater than 50% weight per weight. So that is the difference between anti therapy and dilatancy. And we have said the difference between rheobaxy and anti therapy is the system is same, but for rheobaxy, it only needs a slight shake or a slight disturbance. Immediately the gel will form. So that is the, the difference. And for our today lecture, we'll, we'll stop there for, for textotropy or antitextotropy.